we look at this, the spikelets, it's one spike, one florette per spikelet, and we see an on tick, which, I mean, this is very typical of a Molenbergia. And look, and we see we have a membrane. It's kind of shredded, but we have a membrane. You can see it glisten as a ligule. Again, that's at the throat of the blade and the sheath. So this is the whole leaf of the grass. And this is sand mealy, Muhlenbergia ranicula. Xanthisma spinulosum. You can see it's kind of a little wilted now. It's coming to the end of its life. But here we have kind of these spine tipped lobes on the leaves. These are erigerons. You can do flea banes, definitely. They have like these kind of fine ray petals. So kind of stringy fine ray petals, which is typical of a richer one. So, this, so it's like more of a fringe than actual petals. This is in the stickly family, Loaceae. And as the name implies, these leaves are better than Velcro. They stick to you quite well. You can see some capsules left. It's kind of this rough stickiness. And this is Mincelia multiflora. Let me look because they have these things called staminodes. So it's stamens that look like petals. In my right hand is the Sphoralsia angustifolia, and you can see that there are fewer um, buds per node, or flowers per node, and the leaves are long and narrow. And it's also a darker green. Uh, the flowers can have the same color range from the red-orange to lavender. And then in my left hand is Spheralsia incana, which has uh, multiple quietly packed flower buds per node, and then the leaves are broader than they are long. Or no, that's not true. They're broader and one to two times as long as they are wide.